Hi, I'm Craig Everett, Aggregate and Ashvolt Support Technologist at Tarmac, and I'm here to talk to you about Ashvolt standards and specifications and how they fit together. In this section, I'll be covering the hierarchy of standards and specifications. I'll cover in brief harmonised European standards, British standards, national specifications and guidance documents and contract specifications. European standards. Asphalt is CE marked to be harmonised European standard BSEN 13108 with different parts of this standard representing the different mix types. Part 1 covers asphalt concrete, Part 4 covers hot rolled asphalt, Part 5 covers stone mastic asphalt, and Part 7 covers porous asphalt. Other parts specify type testing requirements and factory production control. From the 1st of January 2022, UK CA marking will replace CE marking, but the same BSEN standard will be used. Any mixture properties declared must be supported by a type test record, which can be a mix of laboratory testing and site trial testing for cores, which is tested to validate any declared properties. European standards composition and performance categories are extremely wide and numerous to ensure they encompass the full range of different mixtures used within the European member states. More specific UK guidance is given in PD 6691. The key to specifying and supplying asphalt is to understand the hierarchy of specifications and standards. The EN standard used to CE mark against is not a specification, but simply a framework of properties that can be declared. The minimum a CE mark can show is mixed composition, so target grading and binder content, along with upper and lower mixed temps. The many other properties that can be declared include typical things like air void content, stiffness, resistance to deformation, resistance to water sensitivity, but the level of performance for a particular contract needs to be written into the specification. Under EU rules, a British standard for asphalt is not allowed. The UK National Guidance Document, PD 6691, interprets the requirements of the European standards and makes them more specific and applicable to UK conditions. The annexes in this document can be called up in contract documents and essentially become your specification. The current 2016 version is presently undergoing a review and the slightly more simplified new version is due this year. It's recommended that any new specification written refers principally to PD 6691 when considering the types of asphalt mixtures required for the particular application. This is the approach taken by SHW 900 series with additional requirements to meet relevant performance. National specification. Part of the Manual of Contract Documents for Highway Works Volume 1, specification for Highway Works Series 900 covers bituminous bound road pavements. Many view this as the national spec for asphalt but its real intention is for asphalt going onto the very heavily trafficked strategic road network, which is all motorways and major trunk roads managed and maintained by Highways England and the devolved administrations. It covers base, binder and surface course layers in asphalt concrete, hot rolled asphalt and SMA, and relies heavily on both PD6691 and BS594987. But it does modify requirements to reflect traffic levels on the strategic road network. It also specifies in situ performance requirements not covered but directly related to mix design, such as stiffness in base and binder cores, and initial surface texture depth in surface courses. Recent changes include the allowance of warm mix asphalt in 2019, and future updates will include new temperature limits for warm mix, and the replacement of the SATS test with ITSR testing as a, as a measure of water sensitivity for base and binder course mixtures. BS594987 is the national British standard that specifies transport, laying and compaction requirements for asphalt. It also includes procedures for product type testing for properties such as void content 
and resistance to deformation of designed asphalt mixtures, including asphalt, asphalt concrete base and binder cores, and performance related hot roll asphalt surface cores. These are primarily based on laying trials, but included is the lab design procedure for determining the design binder content of hot rolled asphalt. We are still allowed a British standard for this because the European standards only cover the production of asphalt and not the installation. It also gives guidance on the application of bond coats, which improves the adhesion between layers of asphalt. It's fully aligned with PD6691 mixtures, making it an easy way to set requirements for installed properties like thickness and regularity. Work may soon start on a revision of 594987 for it to cover warm mix asphalts and laying of mastic. Well, thank you for listening, and I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at asphalt specifications and standards. Goodbye.